Hi, I'm Nina and I'm back for a new, new hairstyle by Teo. It's gonna be short on this side and long on this side and I think it's gonna be brown. Okay, you're gonna be brown. And that's a fast turnaround. Woo! Hello friends on YouTube. I'm back. I'm glad Nina is around because uh, I want to do something on YouTube. And it's always fun to do Nina. <laughs> It's always a start with the protection because the sides are ultra short, can stay in the length on top like she wants. And I always ask what models want because that's very important. Otherwise, you don't have models uh, a second time or a third time or a fourth time or forever. <laughs> she will be here forever. My God. <laughs> it's a little bit gel in there. Yes. Don't bother me. I don't like washed hair because uh, because she wants a, a brown color, so I'm going to create a red tone in the blonde, so it stays in the hair. Don't don't have to wash it. Sides will be short, as I already said. Let's have some plaid. Stop that red tat. Keep my head. Pin away the hair, so you see what her hair grows since the last time. I think this, uh, take my flat comb. Bye bye. Bye bye hair. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nina loves ultra short hair, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. I love to. Put the blade in the largest position. It's about uh, one and a half millimeters. Put it to the sharpest position. Hold it in an angle so you get a nice soft line. No, this is it. Because the underlines are very short, you get already a disconnect. Following the opposite lines of the hair fold. Geen lang haar. And Nina has a wonderful neckline to have short hair because the implant is very nice, very stable and the lines are ultra cool. That feels good. Yeah. It always does. When short, it feels good. <laughs> I'm gonna create a line and a strong line. So you don't need side beards.
And this is especially made by Kiona for me. So the hairs don't slip away. This way you can cut a very straight, strong line. You can hear it, the scissors uh, really working. There's no hair in It's good spell. Now here you stay exactly on the length. Dat is wel grappig, ik ga het maar een millimeter af of zo. Ja. Ik ben een beetje eigenlijk de verkeerde kant op knippen. Maar ja, maakt ook niet uit. Voor de film? Ja. Hm. Zit je hand ervoor? Ja. Veel een ding, eraf halen. Nee, het zijn gouden handjes tegen. Ja, dat is wel. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult to make a video because your <laughs> hands are in the way. I have to be aware that you are watching my videos. So I don't want to see all the time my hands. You see the hairspray does wonders to her hair. <laughs> Oopsie. It makes it sticky. Take a layer on it. Het is wel een mooie schaar dit. Die knipt wel mooi. Die knipt echt uh, heel strak. Ben benieuwd. Ik ook. <laughs> Altijd. <laughs> Gewoon leuk iets nieuws knippen. Ik vind het mooi als het heel strak is. Dit. Mm -hmm. Omdat dan de rest ook heel kort is. We're talking about the hairstyle. So we love it when this is a straight line. And this is also straight because it's ultra short. First connect the back side, so I lay the hairs in a straight line and you see that my hair is coming from here. So I start on the line because even this side is short, I want a connection on the part where it comes from the top. And I will thin out the hair a little bit on top because otherwise it's very, very thick. <laughs> As always. Yeah. There, I don't think we make a Christmas uh, hairstyle on Nina. No. We have already one and does it very good on YouTube. A star is born at Christmas. <laughs> or made at Christmas. Mm -hmm. Made at Christmas. You can find it on my YouTube's uh, videos. The hair is just a natural fall, so don't make moves in it. Just straight down. Okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah, I mean. Look, 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 highlight. I'm going to fall on some hair. Trek it. It's nice. Trek it a little bit. The whole bosch is out. Lay the hair smooth down. And now I'm going to work to the front. Control the scissor and stabilize it with a finger. Otherwise it wiggles and you don't want a wiggle in the face line. This will be the last length that lays on the line of cutting. Again, stabilize it. Now I'm coming to the other side. Okay, coming to the short part. Now I'm going to connect on the back 
and make almost the same length as the other side. And because I thin it out afterwards, you don't see the layers that lay on top. But this way I'm certain that I cut all the hairs on the upper layers. You see that the hair fold is different than on the right side. Because this lays a little bit to the front. But that I can use in my advantage because I get the hairs to the other side. And that's what I want. Do it. Have a heel film. Yeah. <laughs> Connect it to the right side. So you see it's still Nina? Just Hi. Hello, I'm still here. Hello, Hello friends, YouTube. <laughs> I'm still here. For all the certainty, I take her up in the center line. Just take off the ends. Do this in a straight line because when I'm going to thin out the hair, this straight line is, isn't there anymore. And Nina's hair is thin out from the under lines, so she has a long time, a lot of pleasure of it. And just take out the ends, it's gone in a week. She has a lot of hair. Now it's more easy to comb the hair. <laughs> Blijft leuk. Doet heel graag. Goed zo. Zo belangrijk. Absoluut. Dat doen we eigenlijk gevaard. Maar je moet wel mee als we naar Amerika ooit gaan. Ja, dat is wel absoluut. Hallo. Naar <laughs> <In> New York. <laughs> Ja, dat lijkt me echt super vet. Ja, absoluut. Absoluut, echt. Dat lijkt mij ook heel gaaf. Maar daar heb je ook Europese modellen nodig, want dat is gewoon leuk. Ja, ja en het is ook leuk als jij het dan mag bepalen, zeg maar. Ja, absoluut. Oké, okay, nu I'm going to thin out the hair. So I lay the first centimeter aside. Because I don't want uh, thin parts that sticking out on the hard line. The hair has to stay to that side. Take about a centimeter of a hair, put my thin scissor deep down under, and come out the hairs, just thin out. Do this till I reach the other side. Don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell your mother. I did her out! <laughs> a thin scissor is uh, very important that you have a thin scissor that you don't see what you thinned out because otherwise you see every cut of it and I don't want to see the cuts. Yeah, lekker. <laughs> And when you thin out the hair, you, the hair will be more playable, so you can do a lot more with the hair. And I love air in the hair. <laughs> now it's important because it cools your, uh, your head a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Otherwise it gets a lot warmer on top than it is on the sides and it don't feel right because then you have a, have a disconnect in the heating of your head and even winter is coming to Holland it's always nice and you could always put on a hat you can leave your hat on <laughs> yeah I think it's good set. 
Jeetje, ik wil echt veel uit nog, hè? Mm -hmm. Niet normaal. Ja, nog niet, Karel. Nee, dat is zo onstelbaar. Ja, absoluut. <laughs> ik verbaas me daar iedere keer wel over. We're talking about how many hairs that come off and don't feel bold again. <laughs> Because yeah, you, you would think you would be bold when you see how many hairs that are coming off. But it's not a bold factory. <laughs> <laughs> on the sides I thin it out a little bit more because then the hair will be flatter on the head. Het voelt lekker, dan kribbel die lange haar en kribbel tot korte. Mm -hmm. Ja, dit wordt gewild speels hoor, dat is gewoon leuk. Ja, dit is een beetje dik haar is ook helemaal niet fijn, maar dat beseffen mensen helemaal niet. Vooral de mensen met dun haar, die denken altijd yeah. dat hun degene zijn met het vervelendste haar. Het is eigenlijk andersom. Want als je heel dik haar hebt, ben je veel vervelend. Dan kun je er niks meer mee. Nee, dan kun je niks meer. Dan krijg je dus dat bussen haar lang uit de kast worden. Ja. Yeah. <laughs> Oké, okay, dit is een herstelling. En nu ik of ik took off a lot of hair and now I'm going to pigmentate the hair because I need a red tone to get a stable brown. So that is what I do. At first I take a, a developed red to put it into the blonde lines of her hair. This is a new color of uh, Rover hair. It's a wonderful color. Uh, color Boostum Cream. It's a developed color. So I can put it on my clothes. And bring it into her hair. And when she would leave it in, she would be red. Wonderful red for Christmas. <laughs> I will be red for Christmas. No, or not. I will be brown. And this gives a red pigment into the blonde hair. Where otherwise, uh, the brown hair will be a bit, a bit ashy. A bit you. A bit you. A bit you. <laughs> Now it gives an ashy tone, and I don't want an ashy tone, I want a nice brown color. And also, there's a conditioner in this product, so it brings a lot of movement again into the hair and a good structure. It smells ultra yeah. nice. And you can do this also at home, just if, if she wants a red tone over the brown tone, she can put this in and has a red tone over her color. So nice for girls that are blonde of natural colors, but also to shape other color into your color. This I don't rinse out, I leave it in. Now I'm going to make my color. Mooi, yeah. Yeah. Vet. 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 Vet clear. Nina and Red. <laughs> we had it already, Red. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were Red. Okay, I made my colors. What I used is uh, 424 of Infinity and a 453. This is a warm brown and this is a cool brown. And the other parts I will put a 30 with it. So this will be even darker. Just working over the red tone. I did it with 3%. That's 20 volume. The side will even be darker than the upper hair. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is cold. It's also nice to see how short the hair is after the coloring because the dark tones you even see uh, more the beauty of short hair. And we as Europeans don't have dark hair. Most of us don't have it. Yeah, the people in the Mediterranean have it a little bit. But the, the girls there don't go this short, I believe. <laughs> Most of them have long hair.
this product that take a little bit over the center, uh, the line I uh, parted. So the, I have a soft line, a soft connection of the colors. Mm -hmm. Clear the colors that I don't need on the skin a little bit. The decor also off with taking out the color. Using my favorite uh, plastic foil, cover up the color. And then we go with a little bit of heat, medium, and for 20 minutes, and then we're back to show you the end result. Yeah, we do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're back. I see Nina has a new color now. What I do now is uh, clean the contour line. This I do with a knife. Of course at the horse. No. Kong's blow dry hair. He uses a smooth, smoother of lonza. Smells nice. This nice and keep a small hairstyle. And the 424 gives a nice shade of soft purple red to the hair. Gonna hold the hairstyle also rather small. When I wouldn't have used the red uh, in, in the before, I, I would have a, a deep uh, a greenish tone also in the color, and, uh, and yeah, that I didn't want. This color I have now is more beautiful. It only because uh, we made a red in front of it. Makes also the color a little bit sparkling. Wat anders als een blond kleur, hè? Ja. Zo mooi bij je ogen ook. Dat is echt zo graag, hè? Ik gebruik aan top van dat is een soft wax of lansa. En dat komt de blow dry ook zo onder haar. Dus ik dan het kloost morgen. It takes away all the hairs that are sticking out a bit. Very small hairstyle. Make sure that the heat of the blow dryer flows the wax. Okay, and this is uh, Nina's new hairstyle for this winter. Make sure it's mine. <laughs> so you see it's mine on the photos. <laughs> hey sexy Nina, <laughs> we're turn for you and the rest of the world to show your new hairstyle. I think you look wonderful girl. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I received it. Thank you. <laughs>